Hello, my name is Francis Coe, the inventor of the HepaJet, uh, which are these two patent pending products in front of you. We've seen the HepaJet 1, the original and the best, uh, and we've improved upon it with the HepaJet 2, which is sleeker and more compact in design so that it's easier to store away in your camera or accessory bag. But it's not just about looks. It features an oversized PVC bulb that is made of medical grade PVC. It's debris free, hypoallergenic, so that it won't leave your hands smelling like rubber or give you allergic skin reactions. Now, like the HepaJet 1, it has one-way check valves in the filter and the nozzle so that air only flows in one direction through the filter and out the nozzle. And in this quick demonstration I'll show you, I'm going to just cap the back of the filter as I squeeze the bulb. And you'll see that air does not inflate in the bulb because the check valve in the nozzle prevents air from flowing backwards. As I release my hand from the back filter, air will inflate the bulb. As I squeeze the bulb, you can hear the check valves working. As we make our way down to the HEPA filter, like the HEPA Jet 1, we use a respirator grade HEPA filter that removes humidity and 99.97% .97 of air particulates. And because the type of HEPA filter we use is a respirator grade HEPA filter, it is made of antimicrobial fiberglass filaments that resist bacteria, mold, or fungus. This respirator grade HEPA filter has been proven in the field used in respirators worn by firemen, miners, first responders, and scientists. It's a proven and safe technology. Now the humidity that is absorbed in the HEPA filter evaporates back out into the environment. The beauty behind the HEPA filter lies within its pleated sheets. And I have here a clear version of the HepaJet 2 filter cartridge to show you the pleated folds inside the cartridge. These pleated folds gives you the enormous surface area of the HEPA jet. Now imagine if we unfolded these sheets it would cover an area much greater than the cartridge and it is this enormous surface area that gives the HEPA jet to the quick bounce, low resistance and fast air blow. I'm going to cap this back and the other very important feature is it gives the HepaJet 2 longevity of use. Remember the respirator HEPA filters were meant to be worn for hours at a time. So when used in the HepaJet 2, you may never need to replace the filter in normal use. Our test model has been going strong for over three years with no loss of power. Now lastly, the HepaJet 2 further features an electrostatic filter. Now I'll bring back the clearer version again to demonstrate or show you this. This electrostatic filter is positioned behind the HEPA filter and it works by balancing out odd charges that moves through the filter. I'm going to put this cap back on. And I have here today a digital SLR and we're going to show you a uh, sensor cleaning with the HepaJet 2. Uh, the first thing I like to do is uh, take the camera and blast the air, blast uh, the area around the rim, the mount of the camera with the air blower. You can also blast air off the viewfinder. 
and with zoom lenses you can also blast the air out of the extended tube. Uh, we've done that, close the tube back up. Now you should use read your uh, camera instruction manual for locking up the mirrors, um, but you simply go and sc scroll down on this cannon to sensor cleaning gives you the choice and you hear the mirror lock up. Uh, take the lens off. I also like to blow dust off the lens. Put that lens down and holding the camera upside down somewhat you can blast air into the camera chamber knocking blowing dust off the sensor as well. You can hear how powerful the air is and these repetitive blasts of air is what knocks the dust off the sensor. I also like to um, blast air and clean the mount area of the camera. Uh, that's done. Put the camera lens back on and lock up the mirror again. So there's the quick demonstration. Here's the new and improved HEPA Jet 2.